All right, so welcome everyone. This is the challenge nine on Wireshark basics for HTTP protocol analysis, all right? I hope you are enjoying this 30 days challenge. If you haven't joined yet, you can find the link in the description below. Make sure you have subscribed the channel so that you can keep getting new videos for this challenge, okay? This is the dire community and I, I am so happy to see that people are so proactive in it. Once you join, you make make sure you introduce yourself to everyone and then come to the, the section where 30 days sock challenge is mentioned and then you can start with each individual challenge. In the pin comment at the top, you will find a link to the GitHub where the step by step lab walkthrough is also mentioned. OK, and once you complete that, Take a snapshot of the output and share across here. If you have any problem in solving the problem, I mean, if you have a problem in coming up with the solution, you can uh, you can ask in the chat itself, right? So this is about nine Wireshark nine, which is Wireshark uh, Basics Lab nine day nine. You can find the sample PCAP file here, and then you can you need to run this. You need to find this output. Uh, get request, HTTP traffic. These are some of the common HTTP display filter as well, which you can run and identify the traffic. Now let's quickly understand first, what is HTTP? HTTP is, as you know, it's the uh, protocol used for web traffic. And um, give me one second. Let me first give you a few understanding about protocol structure. So if you see, yeah. If you see, this is the HTTP request header. Whenever you want to have a communication on a web traffic, give me one second. Okay. In the web traffic, this is my computer. And this is, let's say, server, maybe google.com. Okay. So once the TCP 3 way handshake and TLS SSL handshake is done, my computer or especially very specifically my browser maybe it's a chrome or edge or any any browser sends the request to google which is http get message and this get is nothing but uh, a different http method a request method and you can see this can be get this can be put that this can be post but the first message is always get because get is all about downloading the page. If it's a request for a web page or an object from the server, whenever you want to download the content of a page to your browser, that's a get message. If you want to submit some data, like you, you want to access your Gmail, so you submit your username and password, right? So that's where you use post method. So it's a request method, but it's a post method, right? For sending the data or information about the client to the server. If you want to delete something, you will use the delete request method. And put is also similar for sending up the data. Hair, dress, there, there are something which is, you know, vulnerable. So these are usually, dis uh, these are usually disabled on the server side. But get, uh, get and post is always enabled. So we will send the get message to see google.com on our browser, right? And then if you are authorized to see those content and if the server is ready to talk to you and ready to send share those data, you will get response code, reply with the response code. And this can be, this is called response, okay? And there are multiple code. If you see 200, that means it's okay, it's perfect. 200 means it's perfect. You can now see the data to then there are multiple other levels as information as well which depend on different scenarios but let's say if that specific url doesn't exist or that content on that directory doesn't exist you will see 404 and you might have seen that many times on the internet so 404 means that content is not available similarly we have 400 which is bad request 401 which is unauthorized forbidden you are not allowed. Uh, there are multiple things which is related to 500 as well, which is related to internal server error. If the server is not available, not responding, bad gateway, service unavailable, anything. So that, that's where it is quite useful. Okay. Now, 
if you look at http request header this consists of get message in the beginning itself that yes i want to see the content so you will immediately see the get message you also mention your host you also mention your agent means what browser are you using at this moment right so that's how you will uh, that that's how the http get and response message really works and once it is done you can see the content as well let me do a quick demonstration uh, even you can see that on your browser as well you can just do right click do the inspect and let's say uh, you go to the network tab at the top uh, refresh the page and then you will see a lot of content every every network object that you see it's a basically a request okay so if you i select any one of them you can see the header this is http header you can see this is the general this is the response header and this is your request header this is http response and request header you see you have status code which is 200 you have request let me maximize it yeah let me zoom in you can see this is request method on general tab which is get message status code which is 200 okay this is request and this is response perfect so 200 means everything is fine you can also see the uh, response header with all the http header detail you can also the, see the request header as well right so origin id user agent information and everything so that's how you can see the real http data and then i'll leave it to you to perform the exercise complete the exercise exercise and take a snapshot and share in the discord server if you are enjoying watching this video press the uh, bell icon uh, so that you get notified whenever we publish a new video thank you so much for watching